This is a demo of the Axon 2 with GPS right here. So we have an Axon. Uh, GPS is powered by 3.3 volts right here. Uh, the UART, the RX and TX, connected to UART 0. And a battery is connected to the Axon right here with BAT. And so I have a USB cable here. And so all the data that's coming in through the GPS unit with its stuck antenna is being passed into the Axon as serial data. And it's being passed out through USB as USB data going to my computer. Uh, what you see here is the serial data as it's coming out, as it's being read out. It's kind of complicated looking. But this program called SkyTrack interprets it and takes out the important data, such as the date, the longitude, altitude, the time, the latitude, direction, speed, etc. Uh, this right here is the number of satellites I'm connected to. It looks like about 11 or 12. Uh, it also tells you the signal strength of each. Right here is what's called the RMS, which plots out every point that it thinks I'm at. So you can tell how much it, uh, how accurate it really is. So, like say this point here, it says I'm at negative 10 meters, and here it says I'm at positive 20 meters. So it appears to have drifted about 30 plus meters right here, maybe about 35, 40, if I let it keep going. So that's how accurate it really is. It's within about 30 to 40 meters, which is not very accurate at all. So that's GPS demo using the Exxon 2. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I plotted in uh, Google Maps. So this is where I am right here. I'm in this house. And this is where Google says I am using the GPS coordinates. It appears to be about 50, 60 feet off, but I think Google Maps is actually incorrect. I think it shifted off by about 50, 60 feet.